welcome back virgo hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are doing fantastic hope you guys had a wonderful week we are just gonna get started no need for any introduction you guys know like you guys heard it in every single tarot reading readers um intro so y'all yeah. all right so let's just get started my name is sandino okay it's right there <laughs> sandino <laughs> okay so um yeah maybe we can chit chat next time maybe i'll go live one day but let's just get started so this is for Virgo. Virgo, this is for you. Okay, wow. <laughs> Overall energy is the devil. Capricorn energy. <laughs> Let's see where this is going, Virgo. Let's see where this is going. Because you also have the tower here too, so... <laughs> Some of you guys could just be some type of communication from an ex or somebody from the past or maybe somebody that you, um... <laughs> okay but um let's see let's see what's going on okay let's see what's going on here let's see what's going on some of you guys are dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn or a scorpio some of you guys are dealing with okay so there is going to be communication from from this Taurus Virgo Capricorn masculine. Some of you guys things were stuck or on hold with this person. Somebody could be having financial difficulty or somebody could have been ghosted, left out in the cold. Maybe some of you guys are not seeing eye to eye with this person. But somebody definitely wants a new beginning though. There's a completion of a cycle here at the bottom of the deck with this world card. Some of you guys could be traveling as well. Okay. So we do have this King of Pentacles here two times. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with another earth sign or um, some business person, somebody that's focused a lot on material things. All right, so this is for Virgo. Virgo, this is for you, clarifying that eight of wands. Somebody's very nervous. They're, they're very nervous to reach out. They are very worried in their head, anxiety, mental. This is, they're in a mental prison. Yeah, you guys could have taken, um, have been, some of you guys have been taking a break from this person. Okay. Some of you guys could have been ill as well. Yeah, communication, guys. So if you've been waiting for communication, it is coming. Some of you guys were keeping to yourself um doing your own thing focused on your money saving stuff like that some of you guys there is this person that is holding on to you maybe they act independent or like very maybe they are independent maybe they are good off financially they are coming as a king of pentacles we also have we also have the nine of pentacles here so i feel like somebody is um good financially okay maybe somebody was greedy with their time or greedy in some type of way some of you guys, yeah, I don't know. Some of you guys mm, are protecting your heart in some type of way. Some of you guys are coming out. Uh, this is a bitch card for me. <laughs> but maybe some of you guys just decided to just focus on yourself. Keep your energy to yourself. Maybe that's what it's trying to say. Some of you guys could be single, a single mother. Somebody is taking some type of leap, of leap of faith here. So we have this tower. So something that happened suddenly, right? Um, and it looks like somebody could have had um, a decision to make. Maybe there was a lot of options, choices. Maybe this person was confused. Maybe there was... Um, uh... Yeah, maybe there was some type of com confusion, illusions, whatever it was. Somebody is either liberating themselves or taking a leap of faith. I feel like somebody is seeing things clearly now because we do have this in reverse. Somebody wants to go for what makes them happy. We have this Ten of Cups here. 
some of you guys are spending a lot of time with family some of you guys have a family with this person nine of cups see this person is trying to go for what makes them happy maybe somebody's liberating themselves from something yeah so <laughs> we have the four of wands we have the hierophant at the bottom of the deck somebody could also be regretting something um in the past here somebody wants forward movement somebody wants uh, this connection very stable energy wow <laughs> the king and the queen of pentacles this person mm, this looks very nice this looks beautiful this looks beautiful <laughs> somebody could be taking yeah somebody is ready to take action towards something here they're standing their ground to offer something new here somebody wants to offer something new somebody's coming in very serious they're coming in as an emperor there's multiple kings here um very serious to offer something i feel like this person is ready to take action here i feel like there was an energy of indecision maybe you guys were not seeing eye, eye to eye or whatever maybe somebody was in denial but there is communication um maybe this person was um immature in some type of way um some of you guys were have been waiting a while maybe somebody was unsure about the connection maybe some of you guys um invested a lot of time and energy effort whatever into this um connection maybe for some of you guys it could also be um somebody is considering or trying to figure out if they want to invest into this um connection maybe somebody wasn't or isn't emotionally ready oh maybe somebody's dealing with a mother a baby mother mother figure there could be something about growth or something about um let's see what this is Ooh. there's a completion of a cycle here some of you guys ghosted something because maybe there was just it was just strictly passion maybe that was just strictly dickly and maybe you just want a little bit more okay Some of you guys, this person could have been dick swinging and pussy flanging, okay? But, um, yeah, I feel like whatever it is, it could be done with this death card. There could have been competition, conflict, drama, even. It doesn't have to just be dick swinging and pussy flanging. Maybe somebody was holding back or somebody was holding on to something it's released. We have, with this Ace of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords. Somebody wants to speak their truth. They could be coming in very slowly here. What's this? They want cooperation. This person's coming in, but they're, I don't know, maybe they're they are too focused on, on material things. It could be somebody very materialistic. Maybe somebody's having financial issues. Okay, this is because this person was ghosted or they feel left out in the cold, so they're coming in. What's the outcome? This person has regret. They want a reconciliation. They don't want to miss an opportunity. Clarify this for the outcome. Whoa. Hmm. Somebody could be keeping their, their emotions or something to themselves. Some of you guys, there's an energy of, of um, your, trusting your intuition or something about your intuition here. I need one more. <laughs> somebody was toxic. Uh, maybe somebody was in a third party situation. Maybe somebody's regretting a third party Maybe somebody needs to go something. Somebody needs to leave something out in the cold. Maybe there's too much people in the picture for some of you guys. Not for all of you. This person regrets their shit though. There were, yeah, there was something that wasn't balanced here. There wasn't enough equal give and take. There wasn't, an, there was, something wasn't balanced. What is the advice? I 
I mean, Ten of Wands came out sideways, but there's an energy of feeling, you know, the the situation seems like it's a lot. It's very heavy, okay? Um, we have Taurus energy and Gemini energy, the higher fit and the lovers as the advice. I feel like you guys will end up committing, but I feel like there's just a lot going on. Maybe somebody needs to release some type of burden. What's the obstacle? Maybe there was an unrequited love situation. Somebody wants to fix something or, um... Maybe somebody wasn't working on a, a new love situation. Something was painful or maybe somebody feels um, betrayed or backstabbed. Hmm. How will this work out again for, for Virgo? How is this going to work out? Because I, I don't know. Okay, well, you have the sun card. Whatever it is, something gets brought to the light or, um, I mean, it's the happiest card in the deck, but somebody does have some type of regret, period. Okay, so Virgo, let me get you guys an oracle. Okay. Yeah, like the el the outcome, I don't know, like somebody regrets being toxic. I think that's what this, this devil in the three of swords is. Mm -mm. I feel like somebody regrets being toxic or some type of toxicity resulted in this you know the situation but some yeah like four cups is here three cu four cups three cups i feel like somebody you know they don't want to miss an opportunity they do want to um connect with you but there was some type of secret or somebody's keeping something a secret and it has something to do with emotions or another person with this queen of cups for the outcome oh sorry not the outcome what what um oracles does Virgo need to see? Some of you guys, it's a soulmate. Paradise is at the bottom of the deck. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I'm pretty sure these two came like that. All right. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Some of you guys, that's exactly what you're doing right now. You're just doing your own thing, period. Okay? You're just doing your own thing. Some of you guys are definitely keeping to yourself. This person does want to reconcile, but I don't know. I don't know what they're waiting for. <laughs> Whatever. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting or meeting hesitation this person's definitely hesitating i feel like they feel maybe somebody feels betrayed period okay somebody feels betrayed i don't know <laughs> i don't know your side or theirs somebody feels betrayed photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia making new memories could be spying on you the sword and rose clarity truth revelation solidarity force honor protection power i feel like there is going to be some type of truth and clarity coming forward because we did see that here and even seeing that sun card, I feel like there's some type of, you know, clarity coming here. I feel like you guys are going to be moving towards calmer times. I think things are going to get calmer. Things are going to um, get better for you guys. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye.